Hello everyone, today I'm making the two cup flaky roti recipe. So we're making Cape Malay flaky roti, but we're only using two cups of flour, which yields about five to six rotis. So you don't have to make the big batch of rotis. So what we need is, of course, two cups of cake flour. Hold on, what's it over here? And just level it with a knife, you see? Into the bowl, another cup. Okay, so we're done with the flour. And now we're just gonna like a quarter teaspoon of salt. Done with salt. Through and 160 ml of uh, lukewarm water. Now, when it comes to making any dough, just remember it's always plus minus. So it's best to have a more sticky dough than a dry dough. You can always add more flour. Okay. Alles in hoy. It's about three cups, three quarter cup of um, water. Now we're gonna work it together. And when you make a roti, we oh yeah, So when you make roti or dough, you always keep some flour one side and some water. And then you, whatever you need, if it's too dry, add just a touch of water to it, add a little bit of flour. But it's two cups of flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, and 160 ml of water. And there you see nice dough not I can feel with my hands it's not too dry it's not too wet for me it's just right now of course I had to make this recipe a couple of times to get the measurements right and that's what you call the recipe testing so when I give the recipe to you guys I've already done the work and all you have to do is make it and then it's flop proof so when you see the dough, looks like, you know, cellulite. We just want to add maybe just a quick sprinkling of flour. And just bring it all together nicely. There we go. Going to get a smooth dough. There we go. I like that. Soft. And of course, we're going to move. To the surface. Oh, pak a skif. Jy laat ons sien wat ek doen. Did I move it so? Oh, just to recap: two cups of flour, 160 ml of uh, water, lukewarm water. You can. It's about three quarter cups of water. Quarter teaspoon of salt mixed together. We get this ball. There we go. Don't waste. Look at this. Nice. Okay. Okay, so I'm just rolling it. Just kneading it for a minute. Nice and still it's nice and smooth. I'm just going to rest it a bit ne, for a minute. Okay. I've got some oil here. Put my hand, fingers in the oil. Roll over it. So that's rested. 
let's see how many I get out of this. Like I said, depending on the size you want, so you cut it whole. Okay. I think I'm gonna get four because I want the bigger size of tea. And there we go. So if you're a family four, your work is done. If you like to make for lunch and supper, you keep the rest two for later on. If it's just you and another person, a nice small recipe or smaller quantity. Okay. And now we're going to just rest this for a minute and we're going to roll it out. Okay, let's roll out the first roti. If it shrinks as you roll it, you just wait a second, a few seconds or half a minute or a minute. Sorry, that went from one second to a minute, about a minute to rest the dough some more so it doesn't stretch us. Okay, I mean pull back when you roll it out. I'm going to show you the one. And I'll continue. I'll just do it slowly with the rest. And don't worry about the perfect roundness. That should not be a priority. Just make sure it's a light and fluffy, crispy, flaky roti. Okay? About a knob of butter. Here we go. a tablespoon okay drizzling of oil okay now we roll it it pulls in like that just let it sit for a little bit relax a bit and then we're gonna do the snake shape okay it's always relaxed a bit stretch it and then you turn the dough and you roll it up from the one side and the other side at the same time and the one that's always looks smaller put that on top Is your roti ball and I'll just carry on till it's done then I'm gonna cling wrap it put it in the fridge or freezer for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna fry it off okay there we go it's going into the fridge the freezers are for 30 minutes and if you're making it the morning you can just put it in the fridge and then later on for supper you can fry it off okay and we'll be right back okay so I've rolled out the roti and now I'm gonna fry it in a pan and while your roti is in the pan, you roll out another roti. So when that roti comes out, you've got one rolled out already and your pan don't overheat. So my pan is on medium to high. You just watch it. Sometimes you have to lower the heat. You can see it's puffing up the liquor. Yeah, the roti is frying away. <laughs> Clap. Nice and flaky. Looky, looky. Look there. Look at this roti, man. Nice and flaky. Look there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have two more left. I'm only going to use two. And this I'll just um, cover with cleaning up in, on a, in a small container, put it in the freezer, and I'll take it out on another day. So I'm only using the two. I'm clapping this second one. There we have it. 
delicious flaky buttery roti check it out <laughs> And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, as much as I did making it. <laughs> and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. Love you.